Good afternoon. Welcome to my laboratory. I have the uh, uh, tinsel coil 4 set up here in my uh, observer yard because it's uh, just too powerful to operate inside. So there's the basic coil. There's the base primary there tapped at about two and a third turns. There's the secondary, which is 750 turns of number 27 magnet wire on a four and a quarter inch PVC former. There's the top capacity made out of some dryer duct with a doorknob on top. Uh, there's a uh, grounded sparking electrode over there. And uh, let's see, there's a ground wire there that goes over to a copper pipe under the table somewhere. that's driven into the ground and the system is powered the primary supply is uh, the microwave oven transformer and that goes into a full wave bridge made up of these diodes these are uh, 7.5 amp 1 kilovolt or rather 7.5 kilovolt 1.3 amp uh, diodes in a full wave bridge that feeds the capacitor bank, which is uh, 14 uh, 40 nanofarad capacitors, 5 kilovolts, in a series parallel configuration that gives me 152 uh, nanofarads total there. And then there's the spark gap structure, a uh, couple of spheres, which are actually uh, cabinet knobs, and then a little nozzle to blow compressed air into the gap there. And then this is the uh, adjusting setup to adjust the gap. Tapped at about uh, two and a third turns there. And the uh, microwave oven transformer is powered by the wall uh, through this variac here. So, uh, and then down here is an air bottle that uh, will supply some compressed air to the gap. So uh, first of all, uh, let me go ahead and mount the camera to the tripod. Okay, now I've got the camera mounted on a tripod. And uh, let's see, those electrodes there are uh, almost exactly 20 centimeters Okay, so we got 20 centimeters in between the electrodes there. And first, what I'm going to do is just turn on the variac and uh, bring the voltage up until the gap fires without the air. Okay, I think you can hear the gap firing, but as you can see, there's no uh, spark. Now I'm going to turn on the air. And then, and then the voltage. Okay, we're starting to get a little bit of spark there, but still not enough gap. Okay. There we go. So that, of course, was with the air. And that's without. So let's put, do it again. Okay, so I think you can see that quenching the gap by blowing the spark out really makes a big difference. Ooh. Yeah. All right, can we open that up just a little bit more?
Yeah. Okay. Thank All right, now I've removed the uh, grounded sparking electrode to just let it discharge into the free space, and we'll see what happens. This is the scary part. Well, that got it so uh, so much voltage that now it just grounds out to the uh, to the wall. So if I close that gap a little bit now, okay. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's pretty much still just uh, grounding out to the wall. <clears throat> That wall is thirty-three centimeters. Thirty-three centimeters to the aluminized wall over there. So if you believe spark gap tables, that's one megavolt. I'm not sure if I do. So I've moved the thing a little bit further away from the wall now. Thanks for watching.